Salutations, good people. It's Melissa here, back with another video. Welcome, welcome in. I'm trying to prevent things from falling off my bed. Woof. Okay, got it. Hope everyone's doing well. And again, thank you very much for tuning in to my channel. I hope everyone's good. <sighs> Dramatic, yes, and I need to really clean my room, but you know. I, I work so many jobs. Anywho, this is part, I don't know, three, four of my, of my fragrance collection. Yeah, that was bougie. That was bourgeoisie. Mm. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. First up, this is one of my favorites that I just sprayed and it smells delightful. Mm. It is Burberry Touch. See that? Burberry Touch. Like I told you guys, I kind of have a, uh, a bourgeoisie taste when it came to perfume. And uh, as you can see, I have a lot. I'm not running out anytime soon with my perfumes. So. I actually wrote down the notes to the Burberry Touch, which is rare because I didn't write. I think I wrote down for one other perfume I'm going to show, but, but that about it. And then Burberry Touch has been out almost 20 years. I think it came out in 2000 or 1999. So it says the top notes are fruit, berries, and peppercorn. Heart notes, jasmine, lily, tuberose, which I love tuberose. And then the base notes, cedarwood, oakwood, and vanilla. Vanilla. <laughs> and it's, oh. To me, it smells more like light rain. I smell like a light cotton. Like a very nice light fragrance. It's so nice. <sighs> Smells so good. Alright, so that's one perfume. Another is. Oh, that's dusty. That just shows you. Um, I have a lot of it and I uh, may not wear it as often. This is Rare Amethyst still in this box. Some of my perfumes I still keep in their box like a weird gold. So this is from Avon and this is back when I purchased Avon a couple of years, oh six, seven years ago. These are old, oldish. So then it says sophisticated and captivating the sensual jewel of passionate plum shimmers with mysterious violet and rich Sandalwood or sophisticada y cotevadora esta joya sensual de soela. Yeah, my Spanish is like bonk. It's been a hot minute since I've actually spoke it fluently. But here's the bottle. Uh, this is this one fades. I have several of the rare pearl, gold, diamond, sit amethyst, obviously. I think I have sapphire, I think. From the Avon line. I don't buy Avon anymore, but I'm sprayed on my. Yeah. Definitely more floral with like a. To me, it's saying. And you totally smell the plum because it's like you, something sweet. You do smell a light fruit scent, which is the plum. It's not overwhelming. It's nice. It's good. It's it's okay. It's like it's good. It's okay. It's nothing to write home about. Okay. This is just sentimental. I, my mom loved this. This belonged to my mom. 
This is the Giorgio of Beverly Hills. My mom lived out in California for over a decade. So we have this and I actually have a box set that we got for her as well. I kept it. It's a very strong scent. It's very nice. This is the Fine Fragrance Mist. I also have the perfume and the roller ball of the perfume. It came in a box set. This and Red Door. When I smell these I can smell my mother. Does, is that weird? Um, and uh, Florida water. I will show... I'll, I'm going to do a separate video on even though it's only been a few months since my mom's been gone but I still remember what she smells like, feels like, how her hugs felt but sometimes you just need a little reminder and this definitely reminds me, oh gosh I'm going to tear up, but um, this smells like my mommy. <laughs> Next is one of my favorites. My grandma turned me on to Yardley when I was a kid because I used to use the soap. It didn't make me, eh, one of the soaps made me kind of break out, but not all of them. But I love the scent. This is, ugh. This is lovely. This is English Rose. Oh, let me show the package. And this is the English Rose. It just smells nice. It's basically just rose. Rose water. It's nice. It's just a nice. It's not too heavy. It's not like old school drapes and old super duper heavy rose scented perfume so that's the part that's really nice I have what so I've showed you the berry touch the rare amethyst the Giorgio the Yardley I have one two three four four more scents to show you for today because your girl's got a lot of perfume oh this is one of my favorites Elizabeth Taylor, this is Black Pearls. Um, I got this as a graduation gift. My mom got me a lot of my perfumes as graduation gifts and also because um, I collect Elizabeth I, I collect Elizabeth Taylor perfumes. As you can see, this is well loved. Oh sweet baby back ribs. It does not smell like sweet baby back ribs. That's just my expression. I love the smell of this. This is soft. I like to wear this in the summer, spring, but I also, I mean, some people go, I have a scent or signature fragrance for every season or some that just wear the same fragrance all year round. I'm one of those people that likes to change it up just depending on my mood. And this is one of my favorites. Oh. As you can see the bottle is almost empty. I do have another one. My mom bought me more than one. So I, I kept one I use. And I have one that I keep as part of this collection. Another thing my mom got me as a gift was I showed one of them. I think it was the zombie one. This is Elvira's Black Roses. So here you go. Elvira, Mistress of the Night. There we go. And this is from the Demeter Fragrance Library. It just it smells nice. So as I already have like a scent of rose wafting in the air. I'll just accidentally spray it on my scarf. Again, it's it's a little bit different scent of rose, but it's nice. I like it. And of course, it was kind of just kitsch because I like Elvira. So I don't really wear these. I've only used a little bit of each. Um, but I really like these. So I, call it, I had these because I liked Elvira. Ooh. Here is my, I think this is my Gloria Heyman. No, not Gloria Heyman. Gail Heyman, wow. Gail Heyman of 
Beverly Hills. This is in the shade, shade, wow. You tell your girl loves eyeshadow, shade. This is in the scent or the perfume called Delicious. Um, I've had this for years. I think since I was 21. I had this for years. Um, oh man, it still smells good. My mom got me a huge box set, I think for Christmas or my birthday one year. I've had, I've gone through three bottles of this. I think this is the last bottle. <laughs> I used to love this. I used to wear this all the time. Oh my gosh, it smells great. And even though I read the notes and the scents for some of the fragrances, only, I think only two, I will make sure to pin or put down in the drop box the scents, um, the other scents, base notes, heart notes, and all that kind of stuff. And fragrance notes. Mm, this smells wonderful. I don't know where to buy this anymore. But I think I have a lotion or a perfumed something with this. So I'll have the scent still. I'm shaking it like a snow globe. We'll see. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Ooh, and I have just one more, I think. One more scent for this evening. Boom. This is the Adidas. <laughs> this is the moves for her. I fell in love with this. I bought this. It's just so nice. The only downside is, oh man, it smells so good. It smells so good. This is the moves for her from Adidas or Adidas. All day I dream about since oh yeah. If anybody doesn't get the Life is Peachy 1996 corn reference, it's a okay. So except the the S on theirs wasn't for sense, it was for something else. <laughs> but this smells wonderful. It's very light. It's so, it's just a nice, like two spritz type of deal, and you smell like revitalized and nice. Only kicker is it doesn't last very long. Trick is sometimes I would put baby oil on, or something like a very heavy lotion, unscented, and then spray it on my lotion or in my lotion as it's, the lotion's like sinking into my skin. And I could make this last that way. It's just a nice light scent. It's good. I've gone through probably 12 bottles of this. Yeah. I also have a couple other Adidas um, fragrances too. And this is um, Cody. I think Cody pumps these out. I just was curious. I was at the Wally World. And... Uh, saw this and I was like huh this looks interesting and I was like Adidas has perfume okay well you know and I was just going let me try this Adidas perfume parfum it smells wonderful it's super cheap I mean I have a large I, have, I think I have two or three more large bottles and it's under 20 bucks 20 bucks under 20 bucks for a large bottle holiday season this is like a mini and it comes with this side and then the larger size same component and like a box set for the holiday season these are like always dirt cheap 1999 $15.99 really really inexpensive again I made this disclaimer in the other two three videos about my scent collection all of this all of these scents perfumes were clones were all purchased long before I went cruelty free I've had these for years I have one perfume a cologne in my collection that I've had since 1998 okay do I wear it no but it smells heavenly still because it's it's discontinued and it's hard to let go and it's just again it's a scent that I connect with memories of my mom and uh, my life back home in Maryland so it's one of those type of deals and that's one of the reasons I keep it plus that and the whole 
collector 10 set that they I got as a gift it's really nice so yay this is lovely oh thing is you know people go I don't want to use up all my perfumes the ones that I collect and I have backups are or or more than one of I don't mind using up because I have more of them and I'm really not gonna buy these again I think as I get older I'll probably find one or two signature scents but for me I just love things that smell good I have an overabundance of uh, Bath and Body Works things what uh, my my job over 10 years ago about 10 years ago I had every Friday off every other Friday was paid you know you get paid bi-weekly on Friday so where was I up at the mall inside Bath and Body Works I have an obscene amount of Bath and Body Works this is back when their coupons were good and the Christmas sales and then the semi-annual sales after the new year my birthday's in January hint hint I'm just kidding January 13th and my sister, my mom, take me or some even years ago, my grandma, they we'd go into Bath and Body Works, find what you want. You know, they'd have the discontinued scents. I'd dive headfirst into that huge bin where they have all the scents and just pull out all the scents that I loved and couldn't find anymore. And since I'd I'd like that they did have, but they were two or three dollars. Walk out with twenty, thirty bottles of uh, like body spray and lotion. I still have a lot of that over a decade later. I don't even use it because the bottles are old. They're in the old components and even the old designs for the lotion, the sprays. I really don't, I think maybe I have a few body washes, but again, I have sensitive skin. Some of those were given to me as gifts still was it maybe a couple years ago I think my sister got me the sensual amber or sensuous amber or cashmere or mist she got me the spray the lotion the body wash all for like my birthday smells wonderful uh, I gave the body wash to my mom she didn't have sensitive skin like I do because if I oh man to show you some of the scars I have um, from like breaking out with sensitive skin is just ridiculous but anywho, I've been talking for almost 20 minutes. So thank you all for tuning in for my collection. I hope you enjoyed it. I wish we had smell a vision or smell tube, especially when people are cooking something delicious and are trying to explain how things like smell, not bad things, but like really nice things like a rose garden or these lovely scents I've just spritzed and sniffed. So, I just was hoping if you guys could just do me a solid, if you could please have a great day, night, evening, wherever you're at. Also, if you could please just make smart choices, you would be very, 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 very thankful that you did. Again, sometimes to make the smart choice is not to make the easiest choice okay and also I forgot if you haven't heard from anybody in a long time check on them make sure everybody's doing okay let somebody know that you have a, you know that you've been thinking of that you're thinking of them you know the do what you did to do to the day to do to do I don't know <laughs> but yes take care of yourselves and one another check on your friends and family that you haven't that you're thinking about okay always make smart choices I implore you please do I'm trying something new with my phone camera doodad and settings I hope this turns out okay <laughs> so I just want to say thank you all so much it means you know a lot that in my tiny 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 little nook and corner and cranny and in the interwebs a few friends you know people watch me so thank you thank you for giving me your time I appreciate it this time is fleeting and I appreciate you guys sharing yours with me all right enough I hope you guys have a wonderful evening day night whatever take care of yourself peace easy 
I will catch you guys in the next video soon. Hit me up on the Instagram and you guys have a wonderful one.